What's up everyone, this is Kevin right here from Bitcoin for Beginners. So what if I told you there was another way to become a millionaire in this crypto world that didn't involve trading or investing? So the way to do so is to become a smart contracts developer, most likely in the Ethereum ecosystem. So if you have any sort of technical background or know how to code, this might be of interest to you. So this is just a quote I pulled from Reddit. It's actually from another article, but Basically, this pretty famous person in the blockchain space is quoted as saying, I don't know any good Ethereum developer that isn't a millionaire. And it's only a matter of time before it will become a gold rush among developers to learn the technology. After all, it's a programming language of money. So I definitely believe this without a doubt, because just think about it this way. This is such a new field, and we all know there's already a shortage of talented developers. And being a smart contract developer is even more rare of a skill. So just taking a look at Coindesk's ICO tracker, we see ICOs raising millions and millions of dollars with nothing more than a white paper or a prototype. So think about it this way. If you're an ICO team and you need a developer to build out your dApp for you and you already are able to raise millions of dollars, like let's say 30 million plus, what is it to just take like two of those millions and throw money at developers to convince them to help come build your platform for you? It's not that crazy of an idea. If you raise 30 plus million, you can throw a couple million at developers to build your product for you. So if you're curious to learn more about how to become a Ethereum smart contracts developer, you need to look into Solidity. This is the main programming language for Ethereum smart contracts and it's designed to target the Ethereum virtual machine. Here's the documentation for Solidity. I will leave it in the description below in case you're curious to take a closer look. But also it's not as simple as just learning the Solidity syntax and framework. You also have to learn about the Ethereum virtual machine because the Ethereum system is set up in a very unique way. It has its own unique rules and structure. So if you don't understand all the concepts around it, you won't be able to build a secure smart contract. And that's really important because once smart contracts are put on the blockchain and digital assets are sent to it, you can't edit it anymore. You can't withdraw those smart contracts or change some code after the fact. So that's why it's so difficult to make sure you have a really secure, error-free smart contract. So one really cool website I found to help you learn more about Solidity development is called CryptoZombies. And the website is CryptoZombies.io. Like it says over here on the main page, you can learn to code Ethereum dApps by building your own game. So I'm just going to click get started. They have two courses right now with a lot of different lessons and chapters, but they're going to build more over time. So definitely a good one to bookmark and continue to revisit as time goes on. So I'm already halfway through the first one. And just to let you know, I do have a technical background. I was an electrical engineer during college and grad school. So you might need to learn some programming fundamentals if you haven't already before you dive into Solidity. It's definitely highly recommended to do so rather than just to dive straight in because that's gonna, because it's gonna be quite a challenge to do so. So let's take a look at an individual lesson. I'm currently on chapter seven, function declarations. And I really like this site because they teach you pretty clearly what their chapter is about. They show you examples and then they give you a task at the end. And so this task is to create a function named create zombie. It should take two parameters, a string called underscore name and an unsigned integer called underscore DNA. So I've already filled it out here. They give you a start here. Uh, let's see. So I just wrote in this before I started recording this video and then you can check answer and I am correct. So it says next lesson unlocked. If you also make a mistake, it will tell you what the right one is, and also they'll offer you a hint. And so they also have a public chat. I haven't really used this, but it looks pretty active. So you can ask any questions if you have them. And I recommend you definitely just to go through all these chapters and lessons as they come out. It's not going to make you an expert Solidity developer at the end of it, but it's a great way to get started with the fundamentals. So for those of you interested in becoming Ethereum developers, I hope this was interesting and helpful for you. Please leave me a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this, and I will see you next time.